Hello, computer and Mr. Who Reviews. I may have you the new Batman Adventures, Mad Love. Um, this is uh, based on the comic book story of the same name that's done in the original Batman anime series uh, style. And other that there are little uh, differences or just uh, more information in that about the characters and um, that in the comic book but this story was well it gives the origin of uh, Harleen Quinzel aka Hardy Quinn when she's just upset that the Joker threw out on her bum again while trying to come up with a, a death trap for Batman because uh, before that, he tried killing Commissioner Gordon when he was going in for his uh, dental exam. And uh, Batman was up saying that the plan was sloppy. But it turned out Hardy actually uh, came up with it, so it made sense. I don't know, it's actually a funny line in it when uh, Joker hired a runway and Joker saying, May the frost be with you. Yeah, well. Anyway, as I said, uh, this is Harley, Harley, uh, Hardy, the orange story, like, shown her in the uh, Arkham as a psychiatrist wanting to do a book of one of the inmates there. And instantly she gets the attention of the Joker who's whistling his old uh, team song, or team music. Um, when she, went, when she go back to her office, uh, there's a flower up there on the desk for her and the Joker somehow got out of his cell and put it there without anybody noticing and at first he didn't want, didn't want to like uh, injure the Joker but he, he just got the, her attention and it took uh, three months for them to, to take a do a session with him or to get her to assess with him since that's sort of all his tactics and, and that but when he starts telling Hardy about uh, his uh, abusive dad that was the only thing he didn't really expect and if you're wondering where Christopher Nolan got the idea for uh, the head Joker's abusive uh, dad story or whatever or does Joker make up different backstories of why he, the way he is? It's this. Uh, after talking to Joker for a while, Hardy has uh, fallen for uh, the clown. And at some point, he switched places with Joker being the psychiatrist and Hardy becoming the uh, patient. And when Batman basically brings Joker back from his uh, Late is a breakout. Hardy kind of goes off the deep end and steals some supplies, make her new costume, and to break the Joker out and just driving off in a car while the Joker's laughing. Yeah, I think he's just laughing because he can't believe that uh, an idiot like this can buy uh, the fake stories he's been saying. Yeah, and after the, her backstory, Hardy does have an idea how to get a Joker's full attention. And then he sends a video to uh, the police station, just uh, asking for protection since he uh, has some, uh, some plans that the Joker made of destroying the Tom Cedar to turn into a laugh riot. Um, she and Batman meet at a pier and look like the Joker found him and shooting him but it turned out to be a Joker bot. Yeah, they really, they really improved the, the Joker robot from a uh, creature to Joker. Like, that just says said some lies over and over again and shooting with a uh, finger guns or whatever. But this one has uh, full sentences and as he has shoot an actual gun. 
Dude, where do you advance? Boom, I don't get knocked out by her injecting something into him. And when he wakes up, he's upside down uh, and there's a tank of piranhas. There, yeah, it turns out this is a plan that the Joker uh, scrapped since uh, he wanted the Batman to die while the piranhas are laughing. But the piranhas don't laugh. Even the, his uh, Joker toxin can't uh, put a smile there, down her faces. But Harry has the clever idea of putting uh, Batman upside down so the frowns like smiles. Yeah. Um, one of the creepiest moments in the episode actually uh, happens when Hardy reveals that she wants to be nice with the Joker. Batman starts laughing and it even creeps Hardy out. And Batman just drops a, a troop bomb on the Hardy when Joker when he says the Joker saw the hard help. It's one says uh he walked into Arkham and he points out that he has a million stories or fake stories that he told to a lot of parole officers or what any other people like the story he told the Hardy was that his father was his happiest when he was seven and brought him to the circus like it's the Joker's dad brought him to the circus when he was seven or whatever but they told his parole officer that he went to an ice show yeah. And the soap balance says making Harry a bit confused, but she was in denial and she wants to drop Batman into the tank. But Batman points out that Joker isn't going to believe that he's gone just because uh, he, his uh, mask is torn in that and Harry might have his belt but not a body. So uh, Harry seems to call Joker up. And uh, to know he needed those, he was gone. <laughs> I don't know. And he is mad when he hears uh, Hardy has Batman tied up. The only show is here a sound effect of the of the Joker slapping Hardy and see uh, dropping to the floor. And uh, yeah, and he's just angry that. Hardy uh, doing his plans and that he had to explain the joke to Batman for him to get it since one of the first rules of comedy that he told her that he take a shot on that guy that doesn't get the joke. And uh, Hardy's so scared of him that he tries to protect himself with a stuffed shorefish. And Joker just puts her off uh, out of the window. And told her not to call her pun. pun. And one of the saddest scenes in Batman the Anime series has to be when you just see Hardy's broken body in the gutter and she's just saying to herself, it's her fault she can get the joke. And Joker lets Batman go and just when he's about to walk away, he realizes he's from the. the. the Deny this rare opportunity to kill Batman since uh, Harry did ask why he not he just shoot Batman and he does explain why uh, he doesn't and does explain why he does the, the death traps and uh, Batman does get away and they have a bit of a fight and Joker looked like he was uh, fell off a dumb land on the train Monorail, and somehow Batman got behind him on the train, and was taunting him, just saying that you know, Harry got a yeah, yeah, closer to killing him than he ever did, and that just enraged the Joker. And as he puts out a knife, and during the fight, the uh, Joker actually falls into a a cooling duck in a in a nuclear plant. And the episode uh, ends with the uh, Hardy back in Arkham and him bandages and just swearing off or saying he's got to uh, throw up the Joker and not see him as anything else 
kind of vile uh, monster. But there she sees uh, a flower beside uh, her bed from the Joker, and once again thinking he's an angel. Yeah, they like get uh, some then she doesn't learn a lesson. Oh. And this is a great episode. So have that uh, Harry the uh, the origin and this is the or, the professor was that uh, mentioned in Harley Quinn Aid and this one also shows the toxic relationship or abusive relationship that the uh, she and Joker has. And uh, like I said, this is a I did to for or for Christopher Nolan's uh, Joker having a lot of backstories or a lot of uh, reasons or whatever for uh, why he the way he is. I just wonder what the other uh, stories he told anybody else. Um, also shows that the Joker may care for Car Hardy sometimes, but. He just sees her as a hard help and would do away with her once he isn't fun anymore. Like uh, when the, she and Joker were in uh, the dentist's office and she gasped Batman and she's doing a pun, Joker just pulls her by uh, the ear things and her uh, mask saying that he's the one that gives the puns and she cowardly and says, yes sir. So nice. He is a little bit scared of the clown. And uh, just uh, how Batman taunt the Joker was good. I think the part in the uh, comic book where they show a uh, uh, penguin, Two Face, and some other criminals uh, saying to Joker that he's a boyfriend of the girl or the woman that killed Batman when he was mad at him. What they say, and they find out when he hears that Harry has him and coming closer to kill him than he did. And also, in comics, implied that Harry may have uh, done some extra uh, extra credit to get her psychiatric doctorate. I don't know, that's the right term for it. And I kind of ask in the Arkham flashbacks with the the uh, with, her, with Hardy and the uh, psychiatrist that's uh, with her. Why are you wearing this? The mini skirts? What? This? I don't know why they have them on. Like, you know, a uh, capable uh, psychiatrist or just special psychiatrist wear mini skirts, I think, from some lunatics that probably do something when, once they. Uh, Escape. I don't know. That's my opinion, but you, whoever's watching this party, a uh, different one. Um, yeah, this is uh, a great episode, and uh, next week is uh, another static shock crossover with Hardy and Ivy recruiting uh, uh, and a bang baby just coming into our powers. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys later.